What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new English bit. I'm Gabia, and in today's lesson, we're going to magically double your vocabulary with the help of homonyms. They are words that have the same spelling and the same pronunciation, but different meanings. Are you ready to increase your vocabulary without effort? If so, let's get on. So the first homonym on my list today is duck. Duck. It has two meanings. The first one is a bird that lives by water, like this one. As an example, I've got an extract from the song Lay All Your Love On Me by ABBA. And it says, it was like shooting a sitting duck, a little small talk, a smile, and baby, I was stuck. It was like shooting a sitting duck, a little small talk, a smile, and baby, I was stuck. And duck can be also a verb, to duck. It means to move your head or your body downwards to avoid being hit or seen. An example sentence, I managed to duck in time and wasn't hit by the ball. I managed to duck in time and wasn't hit by the ball. Now let's move on to our second homonym, which is fly. Fly. It also has two meanings. The first one is a small flying insect. For example, flies can be rather annoying. Flies can be rather annoying. And as you may know, fly is also a verb to fly and it means to travel by aircraft. For example, Kinsey is afraid of flying. Kinsey is afraid of flying. Let's continue. Number three, nail. Nail. Let's look at two meanings. The first one is thick, hard layer that covers the outer tip of each finger and toe. Nails. For example, stop biting your nails. Stop biting your nails. And the second meaning is a small piece of metal that you hit into something with a hammer. An example sentence, I got a flat tire because I wrote over a nail. I got a flat tire because I wrote over a nail. Let's continue number four, well. Well, it can be an adverb, which means in a good, right or acceptable way. For example, he plays tennis well. He plays tennis well. And the second meaning is a deep hole in the ground from which people obtain water. And I've just finished watching the series Lock and Key and there is a magic well at Key House. There is a magic well at Key House. And there is also a well lady. Let's move on to number five, date. Date. We're going to look at three different meanings. The first one is a particular day of the month. For example, what's the date today? It's May 24th, 2020. It's May 24th, 2020. The second meaning is this fruit that grows on a date palm. So, for example, do you like dates? Do you like dates? I do. And date can be also a verb to date, which means to have a romantic relationship with somebody. For example, they've been dating for a year. They've been dating for a year. And before we continue, just a super quick recommendation. If you want to learn new vocabulary and improve your listening, reading and writing skills, I strongly suggest signing up to Kindle Unlimited. You can choose from over a million titles and a thousand of audiobooks on any device. 
It doesn't have to be your Kindle reader. You can use your phone, tablet, or computer. You can read and listen to as many books as you want. Try it free for 30 days by clicking on the link in the description box. And now let's continue with our lesson number six, bark. Bark. The first meaning is the outer covering of a tree. For example, spectacled bears like eating tree bark. Spectacled bears like eating tree bark. And it can be also a verb to bark and it's the noise that dogs make. For example, I didn't sleep a wink because the neighbor's dog was barking all night. I didn't sleep a wink because the neighbor's dog was barking all night. Number seven, fire. Fire. The first meaning is flames that destroy things. For example, the theater was destroyed by fire. The theater was destroyed by fire. And fire can be also a verb, which means to force somebody to leave their job. It's a synonym of to suck. An example sentence, he was fired for spying on his boss. He was fired for spying on his boss. Let's move on to number eight, forward. Forward. It can be an adverb. For example, I'm looking forward to summer holidays. I'm looking forward to summer holidays. Be careful if you want to use a verb after to look forward to, you have to use ing. For example, I'm looking forward to traveling. Guys, let me know what you're looking forward to in the comments below. And it can be also a verb to forward which means to send a letter or an email that you have received to somebody else. For example, I will forward his email. I will forward his email. Second to last homonym is watch. Watch. The first meaning is a small clock that you wear on your wrist. For example, I use my smart watch for doing sport and tracking my sleep. I use my smartwatch for doing sport and tracking my sleep. And it can be also a verb to watch, which means to look at something for a period of time and especially something that is changing or moving. For example, I like watching series on Netflix. I like watching series on Netflix. And last but not least, sync. Sync. The first meaning is a noun and it's a large open container in a kitchen which you use to wash dishes or your hands. For example, the sink is clogged. The sink is clogged. And it can be also a verb to sink which means to go down the surface of water. For example, Titanic sank in 1912. Titanic sank in 1912. So guys, that's it for today. I really hope you enjoyed this English bit and it helped you expand and increase your vocabulary. I also recommend watching another video of mine on 20 homophones. They are words that have the same pronunciation, but different meaning and spelling. You can check it out right here. And of course, guys, if you enjoyed this lesson, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up, to subscribe to my channel and catch me on Instagram. With that being said, thanks for watching and see you next week. Ciao for now!